How does a low serum sodium level increase the patient's risk for toxicity? Remember, when there's a low serum sodium, the body would typically reabsorb sodium in the kidneys, but it's, if you're taking lithium, it's not going to necessarily distinguish between the sodium and the lithium, so you're going to end up with toxic, a risk of toxic levels. What are the things you should look for if a patient's developing these things? Well, remember, this is one of the few medications that has to have regular lab work particularly when they're just starting therapy. Toxic is, going to, toxic is going to be greater than 1.5. If the patient is toxic, even if you don't have a level, someone on lithium starts being overly sedated, confused. They might have some tremors, they're real sleepy. They tell you they have seizures. These are all danger signs that you need to immediately intervene. If they have this nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, this is something to be aware of with this medication, even though they're taking it as a pill, and that often causes nausea for most medications. This one, it could be an indication of toxicity. That's why you definitely would want to get a um, blood test to see what they are. Now, think about it when someone's kind of out of it, they have a risk of falling, you know, they, you're worried about them. But this drug specifically, they can lose their muscular um, coordination and their weakness. 